and a free Palestine. Uh. They, you wouldn't believe how they freaked out. <laughs> so I went away, you know, I got away with the bus, you know. Oh, they didn't see you? Or? Yeah, the security came out, you know, like they had, you know, video. And I had already just given my new newest book, you know, to the library and I gave them my card so they had all my information. And I wasn't trying to hide myself or anything. I just, mm. I thought nobody would pay any attention to this, you know, like <laughs> such a minor thing to do. Uh. So two weeks later, I get a call from the hate crimes division of the Montreal police telling me that I'm going to be charged with uh, criminal mischief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For writing. <laughs> For writing and the free Palestine, you know, in mm. small letters. Uh. But they were capital letters, you know, so... <laughs> so you were shouting it. <laughs> <laughs> so I went into the police. Mm. First thing they do is they lock the door behind me mm. and they give me a list of conditions that I have to agree to, otherwise they would not release me. Oh. One, of them, one of them was that I wouldn't uh, come back here and I wouldn't go inside, you know, uh, I'm not allowed back inside. You're banished, and banished. legally. So I wrote up a, a legal, you know, motion to have that condition, you know, cancelled. Yeah. And the judge, the morning, that morning, wouldn't accept my, 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 my motion, oh. saying that she couldn't, you know, like change uh, such a condition even though it was made only by the police, ah, not by a court. It wasn't like a judgment, right? It wasn't a judgment. Ah. And she could have changed it, but she made a mistake. So I went mm -hmm. to the um, meeting of the annual general assembly of the Holocaust Museum, which I wanted to join, but I was already a member of. Okay. And, uh, and, and they arrested me at the door. What? And I was put in prison four days. The what? first night, uh, without sleep, you know, four fluorescent lamps, you know, on all night. No food, no cover, no mattress, no pillow, no this nothing. This is Montreal. Yes. I went to the city hall and I complained to them at the uh, at the General Assembly there. Oh my God. And then three days in Bordeaux prison. And then a uh, movement lawyer, uh, Richard uh, Beaulieu James, uh, went to another judge. Well, went to the first judge and told her that she was wrong and she agreed. And then went to a second judge and I was released uh, that Friday, the, the, the evening of uh, Jewish New Year's. And do you have a criminal record or anything like no, that? No, I still have to go to trial. Okay. So we're making a constitutional challenge saying that this is a violation of my constitutional rights. So and asking ongoing. for the uh, and, and that trial has not happened yet. Oh but on the, on the 15th, the same day I go into the hospital for my knee, the lawyer is going to deposit the constitutional challenge that we've already written up. So it can yes. set a precedent, you know, to protect other people as well. Wow, okay. Oh my god. They're strong, I yeah. must say. Yeah. They have, have a lot of influence. That. But I've been, I've been able to break through that uh, control that they have. Mm. It's a dictatorship, basically. Mm. You know? Because Jewish people here, we don't have a vote for the mm. Israel elections. Like nothing. That's like not our government. No, no. Yet they claim to speak in our name. Netanyahu is always mouthing off, you know, about the defense of Jewish people and all this, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, like, but they have no right to do so. And the majority of Jewish people don't even live there. Excuse me, you're violating a, a court order from the Superior Court of Quebec. No, I'm not a defendant yes. in that injunction. Yeah? Yeah. Let me see some ID, sir. No, Are you're you? not a police. Do you want me to get the cops down here? Get the yeah, cops call the police. They're there. Yeah. They're, they were there. Go yeah, call the, the police, please. Go right ahead. No problem. I'm not a defendant in that injunction. Alliance of uh, Concerned Jewish Canadians. Yes. We're a Jewish fund organization. We're a Jewish organization. We're not a bunch of idiots, you know, that come to harass people. We come here to educate people. Because the people here don't even know anything beyond, you know, mainstream television news. They've been misled into supporting a genocide. And I cannot allow that to happen. I'm a second generation Holocaust survivor. I will not allow another genocide to happen. Because there was a demonstration here one Monday night mm -hmm. in which uh, uh, independent Jewish voices, which are basically assimilated Jewish Marxists. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. <laughs> they don't know anything about Jewish people. Uh, and the, uh, past but they're not Jewish? Like no, they are Jewish, but mm -hmm. before, you know, Palestine came along, they, they didn't want to be Jewish. Uh, you know, they were assimilated Jewish. They wanted to be, you know, they even change their names and stuff. Okay. 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 
and the Palestinian youth movement from Concordia University. They came here and they, they uh, you know, blocked people from going in and out and they were harassing people. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So there's an injunction <laughs> brought out, you know, to stop them from doing that again. Okay. But I'm not included in that injunction. Uh, but everybody was thinking that all the protests would be banned from here. Uh, and then, you know... Uh, <laughs> okay. It's the, okay. Because, you know, there was one in front of the synagogue there. Same group of people. Yeah, yeah. I was there because I'm like two blocks away, so yeah. I went to. It was such a, it was a sight to see yeah. the Jewish flag, the Palestinian flag, yeah. each shouting. It yeah. was just crazy. It's useless. Yeah. They were shouting here too uh, another day when they came here one early morning. And they didn't tell me anything, you know, they try to ignore me because, you know, I'm... Uh, Independent Jewish voices? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because, you know, they they consider me to be too Jewish, you know. Because when they make mistakes, you know, and, and make, uh, use words, you know, that are insulting to Jewish people, they will not accept criticism. You know, I was... Because, you know, I founded the uh, Cross Canada movement, you know, in 2006, the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. And then all the Jewish Marxists came into it, you know, 200. Wow. Yeah. And uh, then we had a conference, a founding conference in Toronto okay. in 2008. Okay. And then they expelled me. Who? But didn't you find, found, found the thing? And the, I mean, didn't you? <laughs> weren't you yeah, the, I was a founder. And the I, founder. I, I've been working all along, you know, where How can they expel and they've you? been quiet. How can they expel you? They voted, they gave me 10 minutes to defend myself in a telephone conference call, and then they voted to expel me. That was it. And for what reason? Because like I was criticizing them. Well, the first thing, the issue, uh, immediate issue at the time was, you know, there was some sort of, you know, press release put out by Niagara Falls, you know, committee okay. of solidarity, saying that uh, there was a Holocaust happening in Gaza, mm -hmm. when there wasn't. Mm -hmm. They were exaggerating. Mm -hmm. So I said, you can't exaggerate, you know, like, would you feel going to say that you're being anti-Semitic? Mm -hmm. And you are. Mm -hmm. But I didn't say, and you are. <laughs> so they didn't like the fact that you... Yeah, but they felt like, you know, I was, mm. you know, criticizing them. Mm. And I was, you know, but then they couldn't take it. Sounds like another dictatorship. Well, yeah. not dictatorship, but, you know, like... Yeah, and, uh, yeah censorship, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oof, so now you're on your own? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I have, you know, more allies, you know, internationally than I do here in Montreal. Mm. Montreal is one of the most conservative communities, Jewish communities in the world. Okay, okay. Very hard here. Okay. Well, you know, I didn't, I mean, I didn't know much about Judaism, but I was reading a little bit, and they're like very different uh, factions, yeah. and I, I had no idea. Oh, I don't yeah, know yeah, much yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's such a, uh, like, differences of opinion in the Jewish community are supposed to be respected and not censored. Mm -hmm. But they're doing the opposite. So. But you can't talk to them. I mean, they don't bring the situation to the present moment. It's like, oh, it was October 7th, Hamas did it, that's it, you know. Uh -huh. um, Arabs are violent. That's what I understood from what they said. They believe that. Oh, yes. And, I mean, of course I don't agree with what's happening in Iran. I mean, it's horrible what's happening in Iran. Uh -huh. But this woman, I mean, she's mixing things up. She's just and she's saying, Muslim herself. Yeah, yeah. But I asked but her if she was fasting for Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? No, no. She, she's not. <laughs> I've met a lot of Iranians. I am. Oh, yeah, you told me last time, yeah. Um, there are lots of Iranians who are very much against Islam. But it's a reaction towards their government. Ah. Because their government, you know, they promote a very Islamic... Uh, rigid way of seeing things that not all Muslims agree with. I mean, yeah. the majority of Muslims are not like that. Uh -huh. So, I mean, and so they're very against anything Islamic or anything. So, uh -huh. you know, all Muslims are, are bad now for them uh -huh. because it's been used to hurt them. Mm -hmm. you know, they use religion to, mm -hmm. to um, not occupy them, but to um, remove their rights. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to hold it? Oh. That would be it. Oh, a nice oh my God, this is like strip training. Oh. oh my God. Oh. You're so dedicated. It's crazy. I made a technique here. You see, I, I put a fish line along the top here so that when you pull